Today's SCRI seminar series speaker was Dr. Mariam Jamal Hanjani. She's Clinical Research Fellow at the Translational Cancer Therapeutics Laboratory, the UCL Cancer Institute. Thank you for coming to talk to us today. You're welcome. Your seminar was entitled The Lung Tracer X Study. Please tell us a little bit about this study. Um, so Lung Tracer X, Tracer X stands for Tracking Non-Small Cell Lung Cancer Evolution Through Therapy. Um, it is essentially a multi-centre UK-wide prospective um, study. We aim to recruit 842 patients um, throughout a four to five year uh, follow-up period. Um, in these patients, they have been diagnosed with primary non-small cell lung cancer. They are eligible for curative surgical resection, so stages 1A to 3A. We collect their primary tumours um, and we perform multi-region whole exome sequencing. Um, and these patients are then followed and tracked throughout a five-year follow-up period, whereby we also longitudinally collect circulating biomarkers such as circulating free tumour DNA and circulating tumour cells. And at relapse, these patients are also approached for a relapse biopsy. The idea is that by comparing the primary and uh, relapse tumour samples, we are able to have an idea of how these tumours uh, evolve, how the clonal architecture of these tumours evolve throughout the disease course, and the impact of adjuvant platinum-based chemotherapy in those patients who receive it um, after surgical resection. And could you tell me how you envisage that the outcomes from the study will affect the way that non-small cell lung cancers, and perhaps other cancers too, are diagnosed and treated? Uh, so one of the primary objectives of the study is to uh, actually determine the impact of intratumor heterogeneity on clinical outcome in terms of progression-free survival and overall survival, um, but also to have an appreciation of how heterogeneous uh, the genomic landscape of these tumors are. That in itself um, will give us some insight um, that may inform uh, therapeutic strategy. So we know that by monitoring circulating biomarkers and monitoring how these tumors evolve in time in response to therapies, we might be able to potentially develop predictive and prognostic biomarkers um, that might give us some information with response to therapeutic strategy. But also the circulating biomarkers might inform early screening or diagnostic um, uh, processes by being able to detect the emergence of resistance or the existence of minimal residual disease after surgery. Um, so it truly is the tracking of the tumours and the disease from diagnos diagnosis to relapse and beyond um, that might give us some information that would help with treatment strategies um, in the future. Sounds like it's going to be a very powerful and useful study. Dr Jamal Hanjani, thank you once again for coming to speak to us. Thank you very much.